Hi everyone, um, just thought I'd do a quick video trying to explain um, my new configuration with a storage battery installed along with my two solar arrays and the small problem that I have to do with CT clips and monitoring the solar generation and how they're in the wrong place. So let's see if I can uh, explain things. So we've got a solar edge inverter connected to eight panels on the roof. We've got a solace inverter connected to 14 panels on the roof. They're completely separate. The solace comes to a meter, which um, is for my fit payments. And because of the fit payments, this inverter with solar edge comes into a separate box with a separate meter, with a separate counter. So the two are isolated so that I'm doing the right thing by the fit payments. Um, what else do I have here that I can show you? Um, we've got the Eddy device connected, that's connected to the immersion. So this, where's my finger? Here, this cable goes off to where the immersion connection normally is. And then we've got a few other boxes. So we've got an isolator here, which is for this solace inverter. The isolator for the solar edge is in here. So that's the solar edge one. And then the battery connection, we have a separate box for that with a separate isolator, separate ICB. That goes to the pure drive battery. So this is a five kilowatt hour battery connection. So what's the problem? What have I, what have I got here? Well, it's the monitoring of the solar. That's my problem. So we've got solar coming in here, solar coming in here. They don't join up in this box. So in this box, I've only got the solar for solar edge and there's no monitoring here. The AC supply, comes all the way along here, up through here, heading towards my house. I have a junction box in here, and both my solar panels are on there. So on the output side, just up here, on the output from that going to my consumer box, a CT on there is monitoring both my solar arrays. So I get one CT clip that covers both arrays, I get all my solar generation in one figure. But, now we have a battery installed, and it's installed before, it's installed here, before it gets to the CT monitoring, if the solar generation is producing and then sending it through here and into my battery, then there's no power arriving at the end of this box, so the CT isn't seeing any power. So the solar generation really needs to be here at the bottom of the solar edge inverter somewhere, and again here, but the problem with that is that my energy devices only allow one solar array input. You can't have two. And so does the battery. <laughs> so the issue that we have is effectively, electrically, I've got to move this box with the output power cable and the CT clip. It needs to be moved before this box. So really just replacing the two. So somehow we need that box and the connection of the two solar AC outputs down here and we need the battery to be beyond that on the other side of it and that way the solar generation will be picked up correctly and both the battery and the my energy devices will report the right numbers now it, it gets confusing because is my system working or is it not working as it is and it is working and that's because back up there again amongst all these wires is yet another ct clip that's on the ac side before the consumer unit so both the battery and the my energy devices are monitoring the cables because that direction goes off to the meter cupboard so that's the main supply and this direction goes to the house and the consumer unit so monitoring the ct clips here is monitoring import and export correctly so it's making the right decisions on whether to um, charge the car or heat the hot water based on whether there is export but it doesn't know how much it can charge or how much it can put into the hot water because it doesn't know how much solar there is correctly. Not if the battery is taking some. So basically it's all working, but it's not working as well as it should and the data it's reporting isn't uh, as good as it is. So a lesson I guess here um, is the installation process and the installer needs to be very, very aware of where the CTs are for monitoring the solar side. That the installation is correct, there's nothing wrong with the installation, it's absolutely perfect and it works, but the monitoring isn't quite ideal. Mm -hmm. So we've got a small change to do. Again, 
I'm not paying for this solution. This is being installed as a test with my installer. He's never installed one of these boxes before, and I don't think he's installed um, a battery alongside my energy devices. So we're learning as we're going. He's making sure he's getting the installations right for future customers. I'm being used as a test bed, and uh, I'm enjoying it. There's um, <laughs> lots of information to find out. I find out how all the stuff really works. So there you go. There's the configuration. There's where it all works. Yeah, I'm sure there's questions and it doesn't quite fit on everybody else's and wondering how it works. But the important thing for me to say at the moment is get those CTs in the right positions. So if you want to monitor your solar, it's got to be before you take away any of that solar energy into the battery or into the house. Anyway, uh, I'll keep this video short, so uh, thanks for watching. More updates to come soon. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them, but there is a lot going on at the moment, so uh, I might not be able to get back to you. Until the next video, see you again soon. Bye-bye.